It's the Fox Fantasy Sleepers of the Week, brought to you by Gaming Generations. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Fox Fantasy Sleepers of the Week, brought to you by Gaming Generations. My name's Lucas, and right here is the other Fox Fantasy Insider, Justin. He is back from vacation. I know you guys haven't seen him in a few weeks, but he's back, and he's got some great sleeper picks for you guys. Justin, how was vacation, man? Dude, it's, it's great, as always. It's yeah. a good wrap to the year. Didn't want to come back here. Thinking about moving down there. Yeah, you can still do the show virtually. I can still do the show virtually. And even though you were in Mexico, you were still providing picks. Dimes, too. Some yeah, of them, anyways. Some great sleeper picks for, for the people to win That's some right. money at home. And some good news from both Luke and I here. We won championships this year. Yes, that's right. It is week 18, meaning championship weekend, it's it's done for fantasy football, likely. I, if you're playing in week 18, you need to change it because yeah. there are teams that I already said, the Ravens and the Niners, they're resting their stars. So there's no reason to play redraft or dynasty in week 18. No. Um, so hopefully you guys won the chip last week. As Justin said, we are both champions. We're here to help you guys right. become champions in DFS. We got DraftKings and FanDuel still very much in, I mean, in the air. We got oh, postseason. Yeah. We got week 18. We got There's the Super Bowl. There's stuff to bet on. So we got, we got some money to win here. And before we start, Justin, so we got to talk about the, the virtual chalkboard here. We've been keeping track. Virtual chalkboard. So basically, has he been cheating, chat? Christmas, chat. Christmas, Christmas has he been week, cheating? Christmas football. I won. So we're gonna get myself a tally right here. Oh, you didn't give yourself a tally already? No, because we didn't do a show last you week. You dirty dog. Because it was over. All right, all right, all right. But Justin won this last week, week sixteen, with his amazing pick. So if you want to add. So there. there's no there's no way I'm coming back, huh? Nope. Because Check. this is the last week, so regardless of how good your sleepers do. I can't win. You can't win. I got ten weeks, one. Um, you did pretty good though. And like Justin promised in the beginning of the year, we're gonna be doing a punishment for the loser fantasy insider. Yep. And that's him. He's the loser. I'm the winner. For I'm the better. Rest, for the rest of uh, the playoffs. Oh really? Okay. Okay. So what? <laughs> what's the what's the punishment gonna be here? Uh. All right, guys, let's do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, all right, here we are. The here Wendy's we are. girl called. She wants her cheeseburgers yeah. back, but you look good still. Um. Yeah, that's Justin's punishment. We're gonna this, make him wear a wig. This is my punishment. That's okay. I like Wendy's. I'm a supporter. Yeah, it's good. All right, well, let's talk about Week 17 sleepers. We guys provided you with some. We didn't have a video show last week, but we still had an article on the website. Hope you, hopefully you guys checked that out because Justin had some good sleeper picks. Justin, how'd they do? They did really good, actually. We had George Pickens and Jacoby Myers. George Pickens had 23.1 points. Oh, my gosh. He caught, it was seven receptions for 131 yards. And Jacoby Myers ended with 11.6 points. That's a solid, six, solid crew right for there. For sure. Six receptions on 56 yards. Um, that's, a, that's a win in my books. That's what got me the tally. Yeah. Um, but those are that's mine. That's what also got you the wig. That's what also got me the wig. We started off 0-4, and, and then I came back 4-4. You had a good journey. You had a good but journey. But you know what? A bet is a bet. I'm a man of my word. You look gotta, good. You gotta do it. I you look good. Hey, uh, real quick, I know you're a George Pickens believer. Do you kind of feel the similarities of George Pickens and Gabe Davis? Like, I feel like there's like very big boom games with the two players, and then there's games where they're just not involved at all. How do you feel about that, or do you think it's just like the quarterback situation? Well, see, that that's weird too, because the quarterback situation, the Bills have a way better quarterback. Right. Yeah, and Josh Allen loves throwing the ball. So, but I'm just saying, like, picture what if George Pickens was with, was with Josh Allen? Do you think he would be? I boom, think it'd be boom? the same situation that Gabe Davis is in right now. Yeah. Okay. So they're I basically think, clones. I think George Pickens. I mean, as he does, is better on the Steelers than Gabe Davis is on the Bills. Yes. Yeah. You know that quarterback situation is terrible, and you got to rely on all your players you can. So George Pickens is heavily involved in that offense right now. It seems. Yeah. No, he was a good play this 
this last week. I think he's probably going to be a good play this week, too. Yeah. I know he's not one of your sleepers this week, but I think, I don't know what he's going on DraftKings, but I'm pretty sure you could plug him in and, you know, have some upside there. That's the thing with him. His upside's insane, yeah. but his, his low weeks are, are sad. He's all, he's all on big plays, but yeah. seven receptions on nine targets, I'm, I was happy to see that. Absolutely. Yeah, my sleepers didn't do very well. Uh, first, I went with Rashid Shahid. You know, Derek Carr's favorite target in the past because apparently not this week. He caught two of three targets for 14 yards, a big old whopping three and a half points, so that was just a dud. They were playing against the Buccaneers, too, where you can just pass on, too. Yeah. So this was just, this surprised me. It surprised a lot of people. Chris Olave also did awful, too. Tell me about it. I had him playing in my championship game. Luckily, I won, but he almost costed me it, man. Uh, so that was just a dud play. And then my other play was Clyde Edwards Alaire. Um, kind of speculating that Isaiah Pacheco wasn't going to play. Clyde Edwards, who'd probably, I mean, little bowling ball guy, he'd probably get the ball rolling a little bit. And I really think he would have had a good game if it was just him alone. I mean, look what Pacheco did against the Cincinnati Bengals 29 points. I mean, it was, I mean, I think he would have eaten, uh, but it was like a surprise and active. So, I mean, it happens. I don't, I don't I understand why they hate him. I think he's just kind of slow. Yeah. Um, Pacheco is just, he plays harder. he came out of LSU. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yep, he did, yeah. Yeah, I mean, first year with the Chiefs, he was killing it. And then all of a sudden, just after that, they're like, ah, we don't need him anymore. Yeah, sometimes it's just. Don't just understand. not it, but it's kind of sad because it was a first-round draft pick for the Chiefs, so kind of wasted. Um, I mean, he does have a Super Bowl ring, but... Yeah, you can't, you can't complain that. Right. But moving on to Week 18, guys, like I said on the top of the show, hopefully you guys are not playing in, you know, Dynasty or Redraft. Hopefully your championships are already locked in. But have no fear, we got some DFS sleeper plays for you guys so you guys can win some big money on DraftKings and FanDuel. That's right. Justin, you want to kick it off with week 18? Sure, I will definitely do that. Who are you rocking with? I'm going with Khalil Herbert, the running back for the Bears, who is facing the Packers in Lambeau. He's going for 5,700 on DraftKings, and he seems to be the lead back in this offense. And with how the Bears have are been playing, I think this is a great matchup against the Packers. Um, however, the Packers defense and Packers in general seems to own this team. You know, we all know that. But hopefully Justin Fields can keep doing what he's doing with that offense and just roll right over the Packers. Um, so, yeah, that, that's my sleeper for Week 18, or one of them, I should say. But, Luke, what do you think? Thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I, I like the play. I think it was two weeks ago I went with the other Bears running back, Roshan oh, Johnson, yeah, yeah. and that didn't work out. It ended up being Khalil Herbert. And for 5,700, I think yeah. that's a, a pretty solid RB2 play, to be honest. I mean, I think it's plug him in and then try to find a stud that's actually com like a CD Lamb. He's going to be competing oh, man. Uh, this week. He's not going to be resting because the Cowboys need this win. So I, I think it's a good play. I think it's a good play. Not as good as mine, though. What's yours? I'm going with another cheap option under 5K. He's 4,800. On DraftKings, I went with him a couple weeks ago, actually. I'm going back to the rookie from Seattle, Jackson Smith Najigba. The thing I'm looking for right now, Justin, are teams that are competing, that are really trying hard in this Week 18 matchup, and the Seahawks desperately need this win. Despite a slight dip in targets in Week 17, his recent performances have been notable, notching at least 12 fantasy points in two of the last three games. As a rookie gains traction as a late season weapon, his reduced target count might overshadow his potential impact against a vulnerable Cardinals secondary. So they're playing the Cardinals, the dude has upside. I mean, he has notable performances and like, you know the guy has talent. I mean, when Drew yeah. Locke threw him that dime for the win. In the for, end for, in the, oh, it's such a good, such a good player. Yeah, I'm, I'm a believer in JSN. What do you think about him? I love him, honestly. Yeah. It's, it seems like towards the end of the year, he's been getting a lot more involved, which, you know, the trend is. That's usually how it is and, with rookies, yeah. And the Seahawks have been doing better once he's involved. Yeah. Um, and, and they're facing against the Cardinals, who just beat the Eagles, so they have the ability to put up that number. Right. You know, so it, it could be a high-scoring game. You Who know, knows? I never know. 
But yeah, like I said, it's just the Seahawks, they kind of need the, they need this win. They're doing their part. So it's like looking for teams. I mean, the Bears too. Yeah, I need the, we need the faith. Hey. Looking for teams that are competing this Yeah, we week. need the Bears to win and the Seahawks to lose. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What do you got for your second sleeper? My second sleeper, I'm going with a tight end for the Buffalo Bills, who is facing at the Dolphins. We're going Dalton Kincaid, rookie. who's also a rookie. He's going for 4,800 on DraftKings, and with the Bills' new offensive coordinator, this offense has kind of been given a rebirth. They look so much better. They're winning more. They seem to be more consistent. They're actually using James Cook. What? Yeah. Who would have thought? And they look good. They look really good. And it seems when nothing in this offense seems to be working, you know, they go to Kincaid or Dawson Knox. They go to the tight end spot to keep things moving and going forward uh, when everything else seems to be shut down. You know, it's kind of their bread and butter at that point. Mm. And, you know, they're facing the Dolphins defense, who ranks 20th against the tight ends. You know, the defense, they are good, but they have been giving up points, you know, to tight ends. So yeah. I, I like him a lot. You know, I've in the league I won the championship with, there was – about a four week window in there where he was in my lineup strictly and he was just crushing it for me. So, dude, we've had a really good season with rookie tight ends, man. We have Laporta, um, well, Dalton Laporta. Kincaid, Ferguson has been doing Ferguson's really well, who's been, been on good. the show as a sleeper. Yep. Um, so, we've had really good tight ends. I think this Tucker is a good Kraft. Play. Yep, Tucker Craft was on there. I don't know if he's a rookie, is he? I think he is. Yeah, I think okay. we just drafted him. Yeah. So, I really like the pick a lot. Yeah. Um, you like your tight ends. You've been picking I tight ends. I love tight ends. The yeah, last, like be four weeks. I feel consistent. So, well, hopefully you like my pick because I'm also going with a tight end. A little bit of a cheaper option, but the tight end won from last week. We're going with Juwan Johnson for the New Orleans Saints. Nice. You know he has this late season surge. He has been on fire, really. Three consecutive double digit fantasy outings, and like I said, he was tight end one last week. I almost lost to him in my championship game, and I would have been so upset because this kind of just came out of nowhere. But Derek Carr, really, he's been targeting this guy. The arrow's just pointing up for Johnson, and New Orleans, they need, they need to compete in this game. So, I mean, give me six targets, and this guy can come down with, I mean, PPR. Yeah, 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 yeah right. so I mean, this is, I think this is a, a decent play. And for 3,500, like, why not plug him in, right? I hate Derek Carr. <laughs> Do you? Dude, I hate him so much. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of ruining Chris Olave for me, he who just, I'm, I love as well. But there's Put me in. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. But there are sleepers for week 18, the last episode of the regular season. Now, Justin, are we doing playoff sleepers? Of course we are. Luke, Absolutely. Are we, doing, are we doing sleepers for the Super Bowl? Of course we are. Luke, oh you know gosh. that. Yeah. What am I thinking? But... You know, this is the last week of week 18 fantasy football. It's over. I feel like it's like weight off my shoulders. Like I know. In terms of dynasty We're, and redraft. Regular season's over. We both won championships. Yeah. It's just, oh, can kind of just relax and, and have fun with DFS here, which is which is exciting. And if you guys want to watch some football on Fox 25, 48, we got some great matchups for you guys over there. Now, Justin, what matchup are you most excited for? For me? It's Sunday Night Football, Dolphins and Bills. It's That's what I was wrong It's pretty with. critical for both teams here. Um, any other matchups? I know the Houston Texans play the Colts on Saturday night. I That's mean, basically a playoff game. I'm pretty sure whoever wins that is in the playoffs. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I believe so. Dang. And yeah. we get to see our boy C.J. Stroud. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, content. obviously, Vikings-Lions, but Vikings are so hurt. It's As a Vi- you're a Vikings fan, right? Do you want your team... To lose. To lose or win because you're not going to advance in the playoffs, let's no. be honest, if we're, you make it. No, we're... You guys at, want a better draft pick. Yeah, yeah, at this point, just get a draft pick. Our entire team is hurt. We've been playing quarterback carousel for the past six weeks. It's so annoying. Try the six, last six years for the Broncos. Yeah. Six years plus, it's been rough. You know, it's just... I was at the. I was actually just at the Viking Pack game last week. You had fun. A couple of y'all came up to me. You know, autographs said hi, and it, it was awesome seeing y'all. Um, the atmosphere in that place is unbelievable, but you know it sucks that we lost. But you know, give what? us one last skull for the for the year. Skull, baby! All right, that's beautiful. 
All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Last episode for the regular season. Enjoy some Week 18 football. Win some money in DFS. And we'll see you guys in the postseason. It's the Fox Fantasy Sleepers of the Week. Brought to you by Gaming Generations.